It's quite the find. Hello friends and welcome back to Crow's Thrifty Finds. My name is Melanie. So for today's video, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm doing a midweek video this week and we're going to go back to basics. I'm making this video uh, to assist those of you who are new and are thinking about getting serious about reselling, I'm going to be discussing the pros and cons of reselling. And to those of you who are watching that are more seasoned resellers, maybe this is just some kind of relatable comment, uh, content, excuse me. And you could leave a comment uh, saying, you know, your personal pros and cons. Maybe I missed some. Um, but yeah, let's let's talk about it. So I'm going to start positively first because I'm a positive person. So we're going to talk about what the pros are of reselling. And I'm talking about eBay specifically as that's the platform that I sell on at this time. So what are the pros? Well, first off, the money, right? That That's why a lot of people start reselling. They, they want to have another source of income. So the money can be great uh, selling on eBay. Really, the the sky's the limit. I mean, if you can get enough stock, you can make six figures a year. You know, that's that's a high level to reach. And I wouldn't expect that, those kind of results, you know, being brand new. But there are folks out there doing that. I, I know some. So yeah, it's, it's definitely a possibility. Uh, so yeah, number one, first off, is the money you can make it number two flexible hours so when you're a reseller you basically get to work when you feel like it you go sourcing when you can uh you ship you know when it's convenient you do you know have to work with your schedule of when you're supposed to be shipping things out, whatever your shipping times are, but you can do that any time of the day, any time that it works. So eBay can be a great side hustle. That's what I personally do. Um, I have a full-time job and I'm a mom of two kids. So I, I do still somehow manage to find time when I'm not working to get all my eBay stuff done. Is my day busy? Absolutely. But that's the way I like it. I don't, I don't like to just be sitting around with nothing to do. So, uh, it's a, it's a nice flexible job that, you know, allows for you to choose when you want to do it. And it doesn't have to consume your entire day by any means, unless you want it to. There are plenty of full-time resellers that will spend the entire day thrifting and then, you know, listing and shipping when they can. And these things all take time, but they find a way to do it. So it's up to you. It's as much of your day, you know, as you feel that day that you wanted to take up. Number three for the pros is it can be low cost to start reselling. You don't have to have this big business investment in your pocket. You can start reselling with things that you already own that you want to get rid of, things that are just in your home. So that can be the, how you start the business and then you make some profits. And then when you make those profits, you can start heading to the thrift stores or browsing Facebook Marketplace or going to estate sales or garage sales, however you want to source for your inventory. But I, I do always advise people to just start with items that are already in your house that you want to get rid of. Make some space to store that inventory. You'll need it. <laughs> so that's the great thing is that reselling does not necessarily need to be this, this big business venture where you're starting out with, you know, $10,000 for your inventory. It's nice to have, but not needed. Number four, I feel like this is kind of cheesy, but in my opinion, it's fun. It's really fun to do. It's an adrenaline rush when you're sourcing and you find that amazing item that you're going to make hundreds on. And granted, that's not going to happen every single time. But I don't know about, about those who are already reselling. But 
I find that even when I find an item I can make $20 on, I'm still excited. So it's just the level of excitement goes up progressively, you know, the, the more the item is, is worth. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's super fun. It's not your boring desk job by any means. I really, really enjoy it. And, and that's what keeps me going is, is the, the adrenaline rush of the, of the hunt. Cause you just never know what treasure is out there every day. It's something different. What's, you know, out there. So there's just, you know, no limits to what you can find really fun stuff. And the last pro, I've mentioned this in other videos before, but one of the things that I really love about reselling is I like to learn new stuff. And there's always new things to learn about on, you know, what's selling, what the trends are, you know, what's that random item that wasn't worth something yesterday, but it's worth something today. <laughs> it's, it's neat to find new things to learn about. And you can certainly learn that here on my channel, here on Crow's Thrifty Finds. Uh, but I also recommend... Uh, getting on some eBay groups. There's a lot of really knowledgeable resellers that, oh, e eBay groups, I should be more specific, eBay groups that are on like Facebook, for example, or Reddit. Um, and there's, yeah, there's so many knowledgeable people that do a wonderful job at helping people out um, that are new to reselling or even us older resellers that just want to learn new bolos. And, and, you know, they're a great resource and, you know, you'll learn some stuff along the way yourself just from looking things up that you, you know, might feel could be valuable. I mean, there's so many items that I just kind of looked at and thought, huh, I wonder if that's valuable. And then sure enough, I look it up and it is. And I didn't know about it without seeing that item. So you're just always learning. And I just love that there's, you know, with social media, there's so many opportunities to learn. With YouTube, there's so many opportunities to learn. So you're just always putting more information in your brain. And, and it's just nice. It's it's a great opportunity to keep learning ways to make money. That's the best part is you learn and then you're going to directly benefit from those things that you're learning because you may, you know, go out to the store later that day and see an item you just learned about. It's happened to me. So it can happen to you, too. OK, let's get a little negative for a minute. Let's talk about what the cons of reselling are to kind of change gears. Con number one, while reselling is great money, it's inconsistent money. So you never know how much is going to sell per week. You can have an idea, but, you know, there could be a bad sales week on eBay. That, and, you know, that's how sales works in general in other positions, too, where you're, you know, commission-based or, or what. And, you know, you just don't always know what you're going to make. This is not some salary job that, you know, you're making X amount of dollars per week. The, this is unpredictable. So great to start as a side hustle until you really have an idea of what your business does. But even myself, uh, my 90 day sales total um, in the middle of the summer this year, when, when sales this past year, I should say, when sales were you know, supposedly at their, you know, slower time of the year, I was getting really good inventory and was making uh, $10,000 for my 90 day total. Well, I shouldn't say making, that was my sales, but I mean, my profits were, were pretty good. And then you would think they'd increase in the holiday season because that's, that's when the most people are using eBay, but my sales actually did something weird. They dipped uh, from the summer. So, it's sometimes hard to predict how much money you're going to make. Truth be told, my inventory probably was not as good as it was during the summer, and that's why it dipped, and maybe I didn't have enough new items. It's, it's hard to say exactly what happened, but eBay ebbs and flows, and you just need to be able to adjust for that financially. So, you know, going, going into it right away full time without knowing what your store can do is kind of a risky move that I wouldn't recommend, but... You know, if you start with it as a side hustle and you get a good idea of, you know, what your worst time of year is, your best time of year, and re realizing that your best time of year, you know, may not always be your best time of year, just being able to judge those numbers is going to really help you come to an educated decision on, on you know, when to make that full-time jump. But that is a con because you just can't always count on X amount of dollars per week. Con number two, no benefits. <laughs> So that can be rough if you don't have a partner who supplies benefits 
to your family or, you know, you're in a situation where you've got to basically purchase health insurance uh, if that's something you want to have. And those and those insurance plans, when you're not working for a company that's giving you those benefits, those can those can be expensive. So, you know, it's something that you need to consider because it is a con. There are no benefits working at eBay. I mean, there's benefits, but not benefits <laughs> working at eBay. So it's something you need to think about because doctor bills can be expensive. So, you know, some people that, that are resellers don't have insurance and, and they they get by, but it's, you know, it's, it's a sacrifice. So something to think about. Next, number three, Customers, they can be difficult sometimes. If you don't have that customer service background and the professionalism, it, you know, it can affect you negatively. A customer could leave you bad feedback. It's, or customers can just leave you bad feedback in general, you know, even if you're nice to them, or even if they never once connect with you to tell you that there was an issue with their item. Or they can give you negative feedback because the post office took too long to get it to them. Something that's completely beyond your control. Granted, eBay can remove some of this negative feedback, but it is stressful when it happens. And there may be some negative feedback that eBay just will not remove, even though it makes sense to you that they should remove it. So just keep that in mind. Negative feedback can occur even with the best of resellers. So don't don't feel bad if it happens and you did your best and eBay won't remove it. But, you know, it's, you know, just keep that in mind that it's it's a negative. You know, there there are difficult customers and sometimes you'll need to give partial refunds when you don't really agree with the customer, but you're just kind of agreeing to disagree and to get, you know, get them off your back, so to speak. That There can be all kinds of conflict that happens with with eBay and being a reseller. And there's also the issue of scammers. There's people that will just deliberately scam you on eBay. And if you're a brand new seller on eBay, you're going to be the one that falls victim to these scams the most because scammers target new eBay sellers because they believe they will fall for the scams. A lot of the times, um, they try to start conversations with you outside of eBay and they and you know they're able to go through with the scams that way sometimes an auction will end and a scammer will impersonate the bidder and tell you they want it sent to a different address and then if you send it to a different address it's not the winner's address there's all kinds of ways that people can scam you so you know you just have to be wary about that always take pictures of the um like the number the serial number that's that's on the item if it has one you know any any unique identifiers of that item because sometimes people will return items that are different than what you sent them there's just so many things out there that they can do um, to scam you and and these are negatives and it's just something you just have to be aware of S scammers are out there it's very possible everyone will get you know, scammed or at least, you know, an attempted scam at some point on eBay. But I would still say that the majority of customers on eBay are wonderful people and they just want what they went on there to buy. And many will leave you very nice feedback. And it feels nice when you get the nice feedback. So that's that's a pro. So even with a con of negative feedback, there's a pro of positive feedback. Next con is unsupportive friends or family. Reselling is is kind of an unconventional job. It's not your typical job. Some people may not really understand it or agree with what you're doing. There, there's reasons why people may be unsupportive. Um, my husband, for example, he's he's minimally supportive. <laughs> I guess is the best way I can put it. He did buy me my label printer that's right next to me here. So he's not totally unsupportive. Um, but it's one of those things that he probably wishes I had a, a side hustle that was different. <laughs> and I'll explain why just uh, in, in the next con, why it, it's not supported so well in my house. So we'll move on to the next to the next one and the last con that I'm going to discuss today is space. 
reselling takes space, especially if you want a decent number of inventory items. This is going to take up some space in your home unless you're selling teeny tiny little items. Me, it's kind of a mix of sizes and I have two different places that I store my inventory. I have cabinets in this room behind me. It's kind of the kids playroom but they they don't have that much stuff in there that there's not cabinet space available. So I have some cabinets in the room behind me that I store my action figures and smaller toys um, and just smaller items in general, some clothes is in there. And then in the back, um, this is my basement, in the back of the basement there is an unfinished part and there is a walk-in closet where the large eBay items are stored. And those eBay items take up the majority of that walk-in closet. And I don't think my husband likes that very much. <laughs> So I think he wishes he had more storage space in that closet because, yeah, it takes a lot of space. Some resellers do um, rent storage units or have storage sheds or or uh, they rent a garage. There's different options. But in in my defense, I feel like we have the space in our home at this time to store the items in a way that's not super chaotic and cluttered. So they're still here. And then you also have to consider boxes, where you store your boxes. Um, so these things all take up space. So be wary of the space that it takes to store all of these items. So that's, that's my word of warning to you. You don't want to become a hoarder. Nobody goes into this intending to become a hoarder. But if you get to, you know, aggressive, I guess you could say, with it, you know, that could happen. So I, I would discourage, you know, any type of hoarding, you know, and, and what happens too is that people often acquire a uh, death pile, as we say in the reseller world, and a death pile is, is those items that you've been meaning to list for a long time that you haven't, and they pile up. And you got to keep up with that because death piles take up a ton of space. So you don't want your death pile to get huge. You want to keep listing that death pile, little bits of it every day. And that gets hard because there's usually a reason why things wind up in your death pile. Maybe they, they're items that need to be tested. You need to take time to test them. Or they're items that just weren't as great as you were hoping they were because you discovered an issue with the item later. You know, it just... There's so many reasons why things wind up in the death pile, but you need to make sure that you tame the death pile and you keep it down because otherwise you're just storing items in your house that are not leaving your house or wherever. So yeah, space is a concern. And that's the last con that I could think of. Uh, those of you that are experienced resellers, feel free to chime in and mention your pros and cons and definitely... Um, if you've liked this content, um, take time to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I give a lot of great tips on what sells on eBay. So, you know, this is a good resource for you, especially if you're new and learning, you know, working your company from the ground up. You know, this is a, a great channel to tune into. But overall, I do feel like reselling is very much worth your time. And it is it is very profitable, you know, profitable, <laughs> profitable. <laughs> yeah, it's very profitable. So I would recommend it, even though there are cons, you learn how to work through them. And and it is such a great moneymaker. And it's so much fun. And there's so much, you know, adrenaline. It's just so, so fun to hunt for items, just more exciting than your average job, I would have to say. And if you all have any questions for me about reselling things that I haven't discussed, especially you new folks, feel free to toss a comment in in the comment section and I will get to your question and answer it for you. So hopefully this has been helpful. And again, my name is Melanie and this is Crow's Thrifty Finds. I'll see you next time.